for our last form element, we'll be implementing checkboxes. So let's see how we want to implement this. We'll call it base checkbox. It will be reactive using the model and we'll have a label to describe what it is that we're trying to toggle. For this example, we'll use the checkbox to allow the user to subscribe to our newsletter. So we'll write subscribe me to your monthly newsletter. And we'll call that variable subscribe to newsletter. We then need to initialize that variable in the data method and we'll initialize it to false. Finally, let's make sure we display the value of that variable right here. And because this is going to return a boolean, let's make sure we pass that as a string. And let's make sure we display the right name for that variable. Okay, so now we are ready to implement this. As usual, let's start by registering it. And add it to the component directory, so base checkbox.view. And again, we'll start by copy pasting the content of our base input component instead of starting from scratch. Our checkboxes will only have a value and a label, so we can remove the types prop. And then if I scroll up, the type of the input is no longer dynamic and it's to be checkbox. Next, to make our input reactive, we already have our input listener here that we can keep for child to parent communication. But for parent to child communication, value equals value is not going to work. We need to do checked equals value. Okay, so now let's improve on the design of our checkbox. The first thing I'm going to do is remove all of these classes and write form checkbox. And again, that class is provided from the custom forms plugin and gives us a really nice starting point to style our checkbox. So by default, that checkbox is blue, but we can change that by adding Tailwin CSS classes that will update the text and the border. So let's do text gray 800 and border gray 400. And let's also add cursor pointer to make sure we have a nice cursor when we hover on top of our checkbox. So now if I save this, we can see that our checkbox is dark gray. Okay, let's style the label of our checkbox. Um, ideally, we want that label to be sitting on the right side of the checkbox. So let's do that. Let's take that label and paste it after the input. And we'll make the label tag a flex container with centered items. And finally, let's change that margin from a margin bottom one to a margin left two. Okay, so that looks all good. Oh, and let's make sure that this value is a boolean. Okay, so now if I save this and toggle this. Okay, so it works the first time, but not the following time. So why could that be? Um, oh, yeah, sorry, this should be event target checked and not value in that case. Okay, so let's try again. And yeah, it works. Now let me go back to the app.view component and remove that line here so that we can see exactly what it is that we've created. So in this module, we have created six base components. We've created panels, buttons, icons, base input, base select, and base checkboxes. So now we should be well equipped to start designing our front end. But before we do that in the next module, I'd really like it if we could automatically register those base components. And that's what we're going to do in the next video.